Hello, my dear jewelry lovers. Welcome to our channel where you will dive into the world of glitter and glamour. In today's video, we will take a look at one of the most amazing and beautiful tiaras worn by queens and princesses. Colombian heart of the world's most expensive tiara. The Henkel von Donnersmark Emerald Tiara was made in 1900 for Katharina Slepsova, the second wife of German nobleman and industrial magnate Guido von Donnersmark. The fate of this jewel is interesting not only for its unprecedented beauty and craftsmanship, but also for the fates of its owners. Henkel was married twice. His first wife was the famous French courson Pauline Therese Lachman, alias Marquise de Pava or La Pava. The man was obsessed with Pauline's beauty to such an extent that even after her death, he kept her body embalmed in a large glass vessel. Contemporaries of the extravagant entrepreneur claimed that Henkel purchased a beautiful emerald tiara for his second wife to compensate for his adoration of the corpse. Whether this was the motive is not known, but it was a sumptuous gift. The tiara is set with a series of 11 large Kabuchin emeralds set on a base of diamonds in silver and gold. The lustrous pear-shaped emeralds mined in Colombia are drilled and set into diamond ledges. Colombian in origin, they are perfectly colored and perfectly graded for size. They have a combined weight of approximately 500 carats. What do you think its approximate value is? You will find out the answer at the end of the video. The diamond base of the tiara is set with 11 large cushion-shaped diamonds with a hint of yellow color. The stones are surrounded by pierced roses and brilliant cut diamonds. With lily of the valley motifs between the cushion stones, a line of laurel leaves at the bottom and garlands at the top. Guido Henkel von Donnersmark with his wife Ekaterina Slepsova. The shape and method of drilling are typical of stones made in India in the 17th century. It is not known how they arrived in France. Green emeralds are associated with the French imperial crown jewels, namely with Empress Eugenie. In 1872, at the sale of Eugenie's private jewelry collection, there was a lot consisting of 25 polished emerald drops. During the auction, not one buyer purchased enough emeralds to create this tiara. Historians concede that the necessary number of drops were collected in a private collection later. After the fall of the monarchy, the royal family's legacy was sold at a public auction in Paris in 1887. Empress Eugenie adored emeralds, but the catalogue released for the auction contained very few jewels with these stones. In 2011, the tiara became one of the most expensive tiaras ever sold at Sotheby's. A private buyer purchased the jewel for $12.7 million. Representatives of the auction stated confidently, this is the grandest tiara that has existed outside of royal, state, and museum collections. If you liked the video, subscribe to the channel. Give it a like and don't forget to comment. 